Here we are back at it once again in Foxhole. It's time to mess up our team. Let's start with some backline fun times. We'll go right here in this little island, see what we can scuff up, see what we can ruin. It's going to be a good time, lads. All right, we're going to start this day off early. We've got a crane, we've packed up a fuel thing, and into the ocean it goes, along with its nice little package. That's a lot of fuel that they're going to be missing in this salvage mine. It's going to be a pain in the butt to get more cranes out here and especially rebuild those fuel tankers. Fun stuff. Very destructive. And we've got more to destroy. Um, we're also going to be putting one of these in the middle of the road with no crane around, so that's going to be extra annoying uh, for anyone trying to cross the road, of course. Of course. Making another safe deposit into the ocean. Oil, gas, you name it, it's going in. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're just going to be dumping a lot of vehicles in the ocean today. <laughs> uh, there we go. Vehicle down. Now, I I'm not clipping every vehicle explosion, but this is basically what I'm doing right now. I'm just getting rid of all the vehicles on this entire island. Alright, we're going to damage this fuel tanker so that it can't be unpacked. I have a grenade launcher. Let's try it out. Okay, there it is, and... Alright, well that seemed to have done a good amount of damage. Fun times. Alright, so I found a base with a ton of parked locked vehicles, so I made sure to break into all of them, unlock them, relock them for myself, and now we're going to grenade launch all of their engine blocks so that they all need fuel. By the way, pulled the fuel out, of course. They all need repairs. Here we go. That should break a whole bunch of these vehicles, causing a whole lot of problems. Maybe? I don't know. They're kind of not really smoking here. Let's throw another one kind of over here for good measure. And I, there is some smoke, but I don't think it's the vehicles that are smoking. <laughs> More grenades are needed. I don't think these vehicles are taking much damage. Maybe I should shoot them under the vehicle? Either way, I'm out of grenades. Okay, that one's smoking. That one's smoking. We do have a pistol. Can go ahead and just kind of shoot this truck here. Five, six, seven, eight. I guess. Uh, oh, I'm um, I've got excessive friendly fire. So um, <laughs> there we go. We we damaged some vehicles. I don't happen. I don't have any more bullets. But this is still a pain in the butt for whoever owns the space for sure. Well, whoever owns the base happened to have some grenades nearby, so I'm just gonna yoink them. And uh, yeah, they got plenty of guns, so I, I should be able to smash up these vehicles nice and good, nice and good. Let's just equip that grenade there, and uh, yeah, just throw some grenades here, and that should do it. These are designed for hurting vehicles. Yes, look at all that smoke. They are, they are most definitely damaged, so that is very fun. I want to get this one in the corner too, make sure that one's smoking. Awesome. And I am now weapon restricted for 20 minutes, but that's okay, um, because it's just 20 minutes. For them, it's going to be a lot more time to repair all this stuff. Well, lesson learned, uh, weapon restriction means you can't unwrench vehicles, so I guess I'll wait 20 minutes. Well, while I am weapons locked, I can still dig, so I'm going to use a keyboard macro to dig a bunch of holes for the next 20 minutes. Yeehaw! Dig, dig, dig. Alright, we have a truck full of bee mats, or basic materials, and now we're just going to go stash it probably in the ocean or something, or maybe I'll go hide it somewhere. This thing is absolutely filled, and uh, we're going to be draining the hell out of this basically under construction base. Moving more supplies, we have tons and tons of garrison supplies and bunker supplies. Now, the base will decay without these garrison supplies, and we can only pull three at a time, so this took quite a while to yoink out, but I'm using keyboard macros, so I just go AFK and eat food or something. It's pretty simple. It's a very easy grief for me. I have moved all of the bunker supplies into the truck. This took quite a while, but luckily I was AFK doing other things while my macro did its magic. Let's haul it off and hide it away for it never to be found. You can see the decay already in action here. Very nice. The uh, ground is starting to get all broken up and dirty. Also, I don't think I showed off my, um, my trenches that I dug, and I've also got everything blocked very nicely with mini vehicles. So, yes, absolute fun times indeed. <laughs> what chaos. Found another stockpile to empty out. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be good. I'm going to take everything and hide them in bushes. Absolute keck. <laughs> I found this big-ass base nearby with a bunch of vehicles, and, like, it's just a big construction zone with tons of materials. 
and there's no one around, so I'm going to move all the materials away. I love getting fuel trucks and then just pouring out all the fuel into a nearby bush. Never to be seen or heard or found ever again. Oh yes, what an incredible amount of waste of time it is for people making this fuel. And now that I've parked all their vehicles, removed all their gas, and removed all their resources, I'm going to build trenches in every little area where they could possibly uh, re-park vehicles. So any little driveway that they may have is now going to be trench blocked. Oh boy, fun times. Yes indeed. Let's get to digging, boys. Found a bunker base with a lot of anti-tank and infantry pillboxes, and there's not much here except a bunch of garrison supplies. So we're going to take all the garrison supplies, and then this shit will decay. And now we just dump it all out. And you may you may think, well, this took a very long time to grab out of the uh, the garrison, right? So how is that a troll if it takes you just as much time? And the answer is, is I'm using a macro. I actually went and did like a whole set of dishes. And by the time I was done doing dishes, I had gotten all of the supplies out. It's just that easy to grief. One awesome troll that I've been doing is unplugging all of the power lines. So that's really, really annoying. You just go to a, every other power pole. And then you, uh, hold on, go to the power pole and then click disconnect all cords. And that takes... A little bit of time for someone to reconnect all this stuff and it leaves all the buildings it's connected to without power so uh yes this is uh, absolutely super super destructive and very disruptive to gameplay mm. we have some griefing going on in the chat all the power poles from the train tracks were destroyed sorry the wires <laughs> imposter among us oh <laughs> And now they're complaining in the chat, a, a shit ton of trucks on the uh, railway. Yeah. <laughs> blocking successful. All right, what's with all the vehicles blocking stuff? Yeah. Grief, I would assume. That is griefing. <laughs> Just depowering everything is super, like, bad for the infrastructure. Oh my god, and it's so easy. It's so much annoying for these guys to restring up all this stuff, too. Go to the power pole, disconnect, and it disconnects everything. It's so easy to do. This is like, this is possibly the best grief I've ever done. It's just that powerful. It is, it completely shuts down it because everything needs power to operate in these back lines. These, these machines won't run and someone has to rerun the cord. And <laughs> oh, the amount of time I'm wasting. I mean, look how easy this is to grief. You run up to the power pole, click a button, it's done. It, all of this just lost power, and they have to run three to four lines to fix it. Oh my god, this is this is the most efficient grief ever. And then everyone leaves their vehicles unlocked. I just lock the door, exit the vehicle, get the fuel out, dump the fuel on the ground, and that's a huge time sink for anyone that's trying to uh, <laughs> do any kind of work with these vehicles. Like, this takes seconds to do. Why aren't people safeguarding against this? Why aren't the devs safeguarding against this? This is insane. Now, of course, some people leave their, you know, vehicles locked, and that's fine, because I can just wrench them out. And if I want to lock down the whole area, I can just take all the wrenches from every base, dump them in a bush, and no one can do anything about it. It's crazy. Like, just dump these on the ground. Just change the fuel out. Dump the fuel on the ground. Hop in, lock the car. We're done. Well, it looks like I've been found out, because when I stole basic materials... Uh, it shows up in a log, and whoever logged in was like, Oh, who, does anyone know Swole Benji? He stole B-subs from my base. And then everyone's like, Well, he's probably the guy also disconnecting the power lines. And, uh, yeah, you can see this guy is kind of driving by. He, see, he sees me. <laughs> it's too late now. Uh, <laughs> evidence is watching them go around to various bases, taking an LEV and leaving the previous one just sitting on the road. Actively log being suspicious as fuck previous bands. Oh boy. I mean, what am I going to do? Get banned for like a week or something? I'll just come back and do this again. Look at all those power lines I just deleted. Oh, this game is too fun. He's complaining in chat. Ugh, I'm having to reconnect all the damn wires. <laughs> Dude, it's only one hour? Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> I am back from my one hour ban. Took a little gamer nap, made me some gamer coffee, and I'm ready to be a gamer once again. This time, we're gonna go to a different part of the map because we basically destroyed that one. Uh, we were down here at Kalokai, and uh, we, we basically screwed this entire region. So, 
We're gonna go to another region. Let's go. Let's go to the fingers. And Titan Call. This looks like a like a good place. Let's go ahead and start griefing. Well, I, I have a lot of work ahead of me. I have to disconnect all the power from all of these places. And then I need to unlock and then relock all of the vehicles and dump the fuel out. And that is going to be my mission, starting with the wary Nymphae. I spawned here in Titan Call, but there was too many people around. So I don't want to get banned right away. I need to work my way around all these areas and completely blacken out the fingers without anyone actually noticing. So I have to do, do this covertly and stealthily. And, and yes, let's start disconnecting. Here we go, lads. I have actually gained a troll level up. I have learned that I don't even need to turn on the engine of a car. I can just select it, remove the fuel, and then lock it. And I don't even ever have to turn on the engine, therefore not even alerting anyone at all to my presence. Very freaking awesome. All right, so every single vehicle is now locked under my possession. All the fuel has been removed from every vehicle. I have disconnected the power lines connecting to every building and everything. I have emptied out every storage container that had stuff not immediately inside the stockpile. I have uh, ran out the gas of every vehicle also. Uh, every power line, again, disconnected. This base is completely screwed. Yes, there's still plenty of supplies here and stuff. I could get into a truck and load it up, but then it shows up in the logs that I'm the guy doing it. So this is way faster, because this only took me like a few minutes, and this base is completely screwed for a while until someone undoes everything I just did. Also, I've gotten a little wiser. So, um, using the binoculars, I can see there's a guy up ahead. And while I'm off screen, I could unlock that, but locking and unlocking vehicles is very loud. So I need to avoid this area for now, because he could, you know, start mass reporting me or whatever. So we're just gonna go over this way and start fucking with this stuff instead. He, yeah. All right, second little town, this entire town, the old captain, completely in the dark, dewired, Defueled, all vehicles locked. Good times. Stop, stop, what? stop it. What? Fine. What am I doing? Stop what? What the fuck? I'm not doing nothing. Why are you pointing your gun at me? What the hell, dude? Alright. We're down here now, back at the Titan Call. And I'm just going for it, because this area is juicy. And 12 hour ban. <laughs> Oh, good shit. Well, I did a lot of damage, so that's all that really matters. That's all you can ask for. <laughs> I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Guys, if you liked the video, leave a like. I read every single comment. Um, <laughs> good, good, interesting fun in this one. With that said, come back tomorrow for another video. Videos every day. There's a video on the screen right now. Click it. It's a good one. Discord link is in the description. Join it if you want to be part of my griefing cool kids club. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Mwah.